This is the 2023 Toyota Crown Platinum. This hybrid is one of the most impressive on the market right now, mixing style and speed with all the safety features you've come to love with Toyota. This Crown has a turbocharged four-cylinder engine with a net horsepower of 340, giving you all the flash you could want, and it still gets 32 miles to the gallon of gas on the highway. With Toyota Safety Sense 3.0 features equipped, plus awesome perks such as the panoramic view monitor and a blind spot monitor, this ride is just as secure as it is sleek. Plus, this crown has features like heated seats and steering wheel, a state-of-the-art JBL audio system, and the full panoramic sunroof. Today, we're taking Brody Clays for a drive. The 6'4 goaltender is in his third season with the Dogs, and the St. Rose Manitoba native has already gathered two wins and a 915 save clip this year. Brody, how's it going, man? What's up, Mitch? Doing all right. Not too bad. How about yourself? I'm Mitch Stewart, and this is Driving with the Dogs. Good, good. Good deal, man. I thought we'll get you buckled in. It's been a long time coming for you, man. Third year, we'll finally get you in on Driving with the Dogs. Think you're ready? Yeah, yeah. I've managed to avoid it. But... <laughs> Let's kind of rewind back about two years ago. Summer of 2021, Roanoke ends up coming calling getting you there for training camp what was that kind of like as you were first introduced to the rail yard dogs and, and head coach Jay Brimner um you know what I wasn't really sure what I was doing I uh I'd taken a year off of hockey because of COVID and then you know I was getting back into it and and I uh, spent the summer training hard and I I had an agent look out and, and reach out to to Dan and you know he had uh Bryce Martin here so he he kind of hooked me up to talk to him and He's had some good things about the place, so uh, you know it felt like uh, felt like a good fit. You've had a wealth of experience that you've been able to kind of bring here to Roanoke, and then throughout the time that you've been here with the Railier Dogs too. So, three other SPHL teams by my count, mm -hmm. five other ECHL teams, and then of course you had your call up with Utica in in the AHL last year as well. What do you feel like that's kind of been able to help you learn as, as far as just being a professional that you've been able to kind of take into this season with Roanoke? Um, honestly, it's it's just pro hockey is crazy. Uh, there's a lot of different bounces, a lot of different, you know, team changes and, and things that can go on, especially as a goaltender. Uh, there's not a lot of spots, so uh, it's tough. But, but having that experience to see all the different teams, I know that, that when I'm in Roanoke, I'm, I'm getting treated really well in comparison to everywhere else and and uh, it makes me really happy and excited to come back which is a good way to feel about when you're going to a team. You and Austin Rodebush I think a lot of people around the league not just in Roanoke you look at those two names on paper and you know that that's going to be a very formidable goaltending duo. What is your relationship like with him as, as you guys both kind of carry the reins in net for the rail yard dogs? Uh, it's awesome, man. He's been he's been an awesome goalie partner to have. Definitely one of my favorites. Um, you know, it's 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 really really cool to have somebody like that because you know he can go in on a Friday night and and he can leave it all out there, knowing that I'm going to take care of, take care of business Saturday, and, and we can kind of go off of that. And then obviously to have that that push from one another, that uh, good relationship we have of like talking things out of how to play different situations and, and we get to learn a lot from each other but also kind of push each other to, to be our best. So you were around last year for the Rail Yard Dogs winning a championship here in Roanoke. You end up getting that ring on your finger right before the start of this season. What was that experience like for you being able to help Roanoke get to that President's Cup victory this past spring? Um, you know what? Well, she had the whole workload of the of the of the playoffs, which he absolutely deserved. The guy was on fire, um, and obviously got it with the MVP. So, um, you know, for me, that that moment of coming back was really about being like the support for the guys, being the guy who's on the bench and and still bringing energy, still trying to bring something to the table, even though I wasn't in the net um, throughout the playoffs. So. You know, just trying to trying to be that energy, trying to be that positive self-talk for the boys, like get in their ear and, and tell them all the good things that they needed to hear to, to keep them going at their best. So back for a third season, you've obviously probably lived with a few different teammates throughout your time here. Who are you living with right now on the team? Uh, I got Billy Roche and M Matty O'Day. How do you think that they kind of stack up on, on your Roanoke roommate power rankings? I mean, are are these guys clean? Are, are they helping you cook at all? I mean, what's what's the deal? Um, 
you know what? I think we got a we got a good mix there at, uh, at Wood Creeper. Where uh, you know, Maddie, uh, I love talking to the guy. He's a great dude, and he's got uh, a little dog there. Uh, her name's Lady, so she's a lot of fun. She brings a lot of energy to the house. Uh, and then yeah, Billy, we've been uh, we've been golfing together a lot, so so we've been uh, having some fun. It's a it's a good mix. Good deal. Well, I know that you had some big news right before you came back to start this season you and your girlfriend Claire end up getting engaged so congratulations on that but Thank you. Uh, what, what kind of went into to that situation I'm sure that you've been in some high pressure situations on the ice but what was kind of going through your head when, when you went down on one knee there um don't drop the ring <laughs> I was on I didn't think about it until the moment but I was on a dock and I went to go put the ring on her finger and I was shaking because um I looked down and there's these slits in between the docks so uh, there might have been a little extra cradling to make sure if uh, if it slipped, I caught it. But yeah, it's uh, you know it's she's an amazing girl and she helps me you know be myself and be the best version of myself. So it's someone I want to spend my life with. I think that's a, a good story for those of you that might be thinking about proposing back at home. This is as sure-handed of a, a guy as you're gonna find. His his job is to literally stop pucks with his glove, with his hands. And even he had a little bit of a shaky hand moment. So what was kind of that, that driving factor for you this off season when you maybe were, were kind of weighing your options or maybe it wasn't a, a situation where you're weighing your options. Maybe you just decided that this is the place you wanted to come back to. What factored into that? Um, like I said before, like this place being so amazing and stacking up to all the different teams kind of that I've gotten to go play for uh, so well, uh, it's, it's really it's almost hard to get myself to, to look for other opportunities now because of how you know how how much I like the guys here, how much uh, the, the staff and, and the team that we have around us is uh, so helpful, and, and the crowd and the fans. Like I played in places where uh, you know you only get that 1,500, 2,000 fans, and it's just not it's not the same energy every night. It's not as not as uh, exciting. Um, so it's definitely. The longer I stay here, the more I come back here, the, the harder it gets to leave, for sure. What does it kind of feel like in, in the locker room right now as you guys are trying to pick up off that momentum from last spring and, and start off the campaign in the right way? Um, you know what? I think our locker room is incredible. Our team is, you know, we have a bunch of guys who can really play the game. Um, so, you know, everyone's not even firing at all cylinders yet, and we have the record that we do. Uh, I, I have a lot of confidence in us down the stretch here to once everyone kind of finds their step and we start to, you know, these guys are bound to start scoring a lot of goals here shortly. So it's uh, things are going to start going our way soon. Yeah, I think that's been one of my biggest takeaways, too, is, you know, the, the record's great. The results are coming. But I think we all know that that ceiling is a long way away Yeah, uh, from, from this group that the Railyard Dogs have in right now. Um, Brody, I want to kind of leave it open to you now as we're pulling back over to the rink. Is there anything that I didn't get to that, that you would like to touch on or maybe just something you'd like to say for any family, friends, fans that are out here watching this today? Uh, family, I love you. I know Claire's going to watch this. She might send it to uh, to the rest of them. But uh, Claire, I love you too. And fans, keep coming out and supporting us because that, uh, that energy in the Berglund is, you know, unmatched. And we appreciate it. And that's, uh, you know, that's a big part of us coming back in those games and, and keeping them close and making sure we're uh, – Showing up, every, showing up every night. Good deal, Brody. Couldn't have said it better myself, my man. Well, you may have been dodgy for a while, but I think that was a, a pretty darn good episode. I appreciate your time, man, and no. hope you guys can keep it rolling here into the month of uh, November, December. Definitely. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah. Have a good rest of your day, man. Have a good day you on too. the golf course. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Driving with the Dogs is sponsored by Haley Toyota, the official ride of your rail yard dogs. Visit Haley Toyota online at HaleyHasItForLess.com and stay tuned for more episodes coming soon.